Welcome to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. I'm Sherry Martin, but I'm not in Sherry Martin's house today. Guess where I am? Charlene's house. Where's Charlene? I don't see her. But I bet she's out. She is getting the rivalry ready. She is splitting Pickens, Gilmer County. You are from Pickens County, the best, number one, right? Yes, ma'am. And then Hans Rupert, <laughs> the Food Network star, with, is with Brie Tankersley, Gilmer County. Hans, how do you live in Pickens? How did you end up with Gilmer County? Well, I think I actually work more than I'm at home, so that's, I think that's how it, it ended up. So I work at, uh, at ETC down there, so I'm in Gilmer well, quite a bit. The best. That's yeah, right. That's right. We, we had a bet before Bree got here. We said the precious blonde cannot <laughs> dice and chop, so she had to get the expert. I can. It's just not going to look any Well, poor, <laughs> poor Lauren gets me, so, you know. I'll take whatever help I can okay, get. Okay, okay. And, and let me tell you, honey, you and I get the easy recipe because <laughs> we might cheat a little bit on this. That's Gilmer fine. versus Pickens, it's been a rivalry for how many years, girls? Century. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever. Yes. And today, you're both working moms? Yes, ma'am. It takes simple, simple things to feed your family game night. What are you going to do? you got to do something quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy thing, go through the Dairy Queen, not all the time. Yeah. So sometimes you want to go home if honey calls and says, honey, I'm bringing two coaches home with me, what would you do? <laughs> well, Make a quick salad, and then you're going to make working mom's pizza. Right. Easy, easy, and you're going to make what? Speed dogs. Speed dogs. Speed dogs was developed in our motor home for racing kids because they always just want a few bites of something. And this is a tiny, tiny little dinner. It's just a little tiny dinner. And sometimes they have it with salad, sometimes not, but it has some carbs, it has some protein, and you dress it up however you want it. We're going to have sauerkraut, chili, cheese, Annie's famous coleslaw. We all know Annie's makes great coleslaw, and these purple onions are smelling pretty stout. So I don't know in the motorhome, well, I don't know about this. But anyway, this is going to be quick and simple, and Hans is going to do the chopping because he is the expert. You know, he's the one of us that <laughs> knows what's going on. So Hans, can you dice some veggies for I, I think for you're jinxing me, though. That's like the perfect no, setup. No, 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 start, no, no, so. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're going to dice some onions for Brie. And Brie, if you want to go ahead and put your um, tortilla shells on there. Right. And you do have little ones. Because you, you do have small ones because you have small children. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you the ingredients for this. You started with uh, Rotel tomatoes and the tomatoes with basil, onion, and garlic. Right. I used to do it with just the tomatoes. And Nick said, Mom, kick it up a little bit. So I put the Rotel in I it. Like it spicy. And it's spicy. It okay. is spicy. Now you're just going to cover that with tomatoes. Okay. There's your sauce right there. Right. Yeah, and you've got some in both containers. And Lauren, honey, we get the easy part. We're going to take a Hungry Jack biscuit, the simplest, and we're going to split it in half. And then I'm going to... This is... How many times have you gone to make hot dogs and you said, the kids want hot dogs and you don't have hot dog buns? So what do you do about it? Will you cut me some hot dogs I in sure half? Will. And we're going to do it, I'm going to do some with smoky sausages, and the smoky sausages I usually dress up with kraut. Now, usually the guys, the older guys like the kraut, the kids don't like kraut. So we're going to do some with just cheese and hot dogs for the kids. Well, Sherry, you know I'm a half kraut. You are, you're right, you're right, your dad is German. <laughs> Your dad is German and your mom is southern as it gets. That's right. And daddy's the cook and mama's the southern belle that glistens. <laughs> That's right. Daddy that is, is right. a great cook. And uh, we have to say, we're going to talk about later some of your spices that you developed one of them being your dad's influence on you. That's right. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. This one actually he came up with about, I don't know, two decades ago or so. Uh-huh. Cajun Joe. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Can I, can I cheat and embellish this with something that I want to put on here? Honey, you can do anything, anything you want anything because I know you like figs and today Miss Fran brought you some figs. That's what's going to go on our little pizzas. There's nothing That's better right. than baked figs. Uh. That's right. And I'm not a fig person, but we have learned use what God provides for you in the bounty that we're so blessed with. And we got figs. Miss Fran brought us figs. We got apples from Richard Jabley's trees yesterday. So we have a lot of things we're going to use that were just provided on trees around us. That's right. In fact, uh, didn't Adam and Eve wear fig leaves? So. Yes, right. I think she did. <laughs> I think he did. Yeah, I yes. think they did. Strategically placed, in fact. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, those onions are smelling pretty stout. Woo! Man, this is a red onion, and it is tough. 
Bree, how you doing, honey? We're doing great. It's looking really good. Are, are y'all doing, are you cheating? Now look at how Hans, he is so oh, good. Going to town. He is so, so good. Quicker. That makes me so nervous. You know, the first cooking show I ever did, I came on behind Hans Rufert. Now, tough work, <laughs> tough work. I was a wreck. I was a wreck. But I made my famous blackberry cobbler. I think I've won uh-uh, Brie. Let's put cheese on. Cheese yeah, let's say cheese would be good. That's okay. okay. Put the cheese on. That's fine. Right, Just cover it with that. I did it I the opposite way, it. but that's fine. Okay. Now, Lauren. Yes, ma'am. This is something. Do your kids like hot dogs? Yes. Okay. How old are your children? Well, I have one that's four and one that's three months. Okay. So. Well, three months won't be eating these. Not yet. But I bet the four-year-old would like them. And really and truly, I did it at the racetrack because the kids don't eat much, it's hot and race day's tough, but you want to have something in them. So I would fix right. a container of these and just take them in the motor home and have them there. They could zap them or they could eat them at room temperature, whatever, because I always make them right before we leave for the track. And you just do Hungry Jack biscuits and break them in half. And I can tell you so many times, I went to make hot dogs for my children and no hot dog buns. And I'd get so aggravated. So that's kind of how I developed this. Right. And uh, I thought it makes sense. And Annie Slaw was really the reason for it because I'm an Annie Slaw addict. Now, Hans, you like figs, you like spinach. We've got mushrooms going on for you. What else would you put on a pizza like this? Well, I'm a seafood kind of guy. I like putting uh, things like shrimp or even, mm -hmm. uh, even smoked oysters or clams and those kind of things, too. In fact, when oh. I was on the Food Network, I got to do kind of my dream pizza for Mario Batali. And it was, a, it was a seafood deal with mussels and clams and little, little wow. baby octopus on there and the whole deal. So that was kind of fun, though, because you're at the Food Network and they have this vast pantry of all sorts of things. So you just kind of, it's hard to narrow it down to just a few things. You know, Hans, so. let's talk about the onion that you took a bite of on the Food Network. Okay. Yeah, let's was, talk uh, about the fact that I read your mind when you bit into that sucker. It yeah, wasn't the, my uh, value, was it, son? That was kind of the, one of the, well, as you know, Cheryl, you, you've got the gift of the gab. You, can, you could talk from now until the sun exploded. But, um, <laughs> but yes, he's right. <laughs> when, when sometimes you're trying to fill a segment on a cooking show, uh, the producer would go like this, which basically means to stretch. You know, right. keep, keep talking, you, you need to fill more time. And so that was the little challenge of the day was to sort of ad lib as we went along there. So uh -huh. uh, my subject was about Vidalia onions, which obviously I'm from Georgia, and uh, um, so it was something I could very easily talk about. And so I wanted to talk about how the, uh, the onions have a, a higher sugar content than some apples do, and I wanted to say you could just eat them like an apple. And so I took a bite of the, the Vidalia onion. I should have known I was in Manhattan in January <laughs> yeah. that there was no such thing as a Vidalia onion there at, at that point. But anyway, it was, that onion wasn't from Vidalia, it was from Hades. <laughs> and uh, it was the hottest onion I ever eaten my whole life, and <laughs> tears in my eyes. And uh, but yeah, that was that was a tough one then to fake that uh, oh, this is not a my daily <laughs> onion. But. I remember that. Now let me ask you something. When you went to Manhattan, did you teach them to cook with grits? Uh, yeah, actually, it was on uh, on Bobby Flay on his segment mm -hmm. thing. I had to do something mm -hmm. with, with grits. And what yeah. did you make with grits? Uh, actually, we we just made grits. It was like um, uh, some kind of smoky. Uh, chili pepper grits, and it was actually one of Bobby Flay's uh, recipes that we had to reinterpret. Okay. And it's been about three years ago now, so I don't remember exactly what it was, but, uh, but I thought it was good that they gave me grits to play with. Okay, <laughs> girls, hold up your finished product. Now, Lauren, they're your speed dogs. This is one variety. We're going to do some more, and, and we just do whatever you think your kids will eat. Will your husband eat kraut? Yes. Okay. Most men like kraut. Mm -hmm. Most kids don't. Most kids do like chili or cheese, so you just right. do whatever you're comfortable with. Now on the pizza, I know Hans loves figs. That's <laughs> a great idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would never have thought of that. No, okay, Bree, honey, you're the top oven. Lauren, right. you're the bottom oven. Y'all place your product in there. Yes, We're going to take a break, and when we come back, you're going to get to know a little bit more about Pickens and Gilmer County, a little bit more about Hans. And the other television station that we work for, ETC3, because we're going to talk about North Georgia now today. And we're going to make a dessert that is so simple. I set a challenge. Make a dessert with a Sherry Martin Blizzard. We're going to do it when we come back. Hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Heart of the Home. Today is about rivalry, PHS Gilmer High School. <laughs> well, we found PHS Courtney, and we rounded up Russian, now American, Elizabeth. And we're going to give her to the Gilmer County side because <laughs> Hans being German, we figured you could influence this Close young enough. lady. <laughs> and you can teach her that you can come here and in six quick months, you can be making hot dogs. How American is that? That's pretty American. That's pretty American. Speed dogs and Busy Mom's Pizza. Girls, can you do this when you go home tonight? Absolutely. Yes. Will your family will. eat this? Yes. And Hans put figs on it. Now, I don't like breading on pizza. I'm weird, 
love pizza but don't like breading, that's why I use the tortilla shell I instead of a crust. Yeah. I just love this. Hans, is this going to be pretty good for us? Yeah, I don't think there's anything bad going on. What, what did you have in the sauce? I missed that. The sauce was Rotel tomatoes and um, just tomatoes, basil, oregano, and garlic. Perfect. Yeah, that Perfect. Is, no, everything's great. So man. I think we did pretty well. The most bad in it was the skim mozzarella. Is that right? Yeah, that's, even that's not bad at all. No. That's not bad. So we're going to dish some of these up. And then today, we have a birthday in the house. We are Gilmer. Girls, your husbands are the ball coaches. Bree, your husband is the coach at Gilmer. Lauren, what's your husband do? He is a coach at Pickens. And do you eat dinner together before a game, or do you wait and see oh, who no. wins or loses? It's about midnight, and it usually yeah. like when they want to eat. Yeah, there's no, there's no time before a game. It's no. The morning you get up, you see them, and you say goodbye. That's and it. are the rivalries as bad as we hear they are? Pretty bad. Well, we've got to be good for we, yeah. we don't go out to dinner a lot during football season, but afterwards we're we're okay to get Okay. It. So but yeah, it's it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who usually wins more games? PHS or Gilmer? I'd have to go back and look at the record there. Yeah. I know who won last year, but I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, you know, we all go to work in Gilmer County every morning. Bree, Hans, and I work for ETC. We love that job, and we don't have a rivalry there. It's just everybody coming together and doing their job. It's so cool. Now, when you girls go shopping, do you ever discuss football? Occasionally. Our husbands, definitely. Yeah. I don't know about mm -hmm. football, but yeah. No, and do you so say, much. did he come home ill as a hornet? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Uh, now, Courtney, as PHS, you know that rivalry is. It really happens. Mm -hmm. It really happens. And Elizabeth hasn't been here long enough to understand this, but soon she will understand that it matters where you go to school and it matters who you hang out with and you have to be careful. So girls, we're not going to get any pizza on your jerseys. Who do you think was the winning recipe here? Mine. I think we're both, we're going to do it both though. We're I think that we would both yeah, try these. Well, I think yeah. Breeze was healthier. Yes. Probably. Lauren, I think ours is going to be better. <laughs> I think ours is going to be better really because good. it yes. goes with Annie Slaw. So there's the kicker. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we are going to share. Today is, yesterday was Scott Barker's birthday. And he happens to love coconut cake. So we're going to do a dessert. Jen Roberts made us an award-winning pound cake. And I challenged some of the girls to make a recipe that we could use a Sherry Martin Blizzard with. We're going to do that. And if you don't like Sherry Martin Blizzard, then have the coconut cake because you get a choice today. Kind of like Pickens Gilmer, you get a choice. Which one of these teams do you really root for? Pickens. Pickens. <laughs> Hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back. What a wonderful day. We are in Pickens County. Talking Pickens and Gilmer rivalry, we are in the mountains and we love this area. Now, Hans Rufert was lucky enough to grow up at the foot of Sharp Top Mountain at the Woodbridge Inn. That's right. And as a child, how many days did Dad say, get down here and help me in the restaurant? He always had a project for us. I mean, uh, quite honestly, people don't believe that, uh, that I really started working when I was four years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I was gutting trouts, because we used to get the trouts hold. And mm -hmm. we're talking cake and ice cream now, I'm talking <laughs> about gutting trouts. But, um, and I would debone chickens or... Um, uh, it, actually, where the chickens would come with little bags of the innards, and I would separate those into little mm -hmm. things. So uh, I've, I've worked my whole life. So. And I worked there during that period of time, and I talked about the fact that when people saw you on TV, they really didn't know the true story, that you did grow up. That's you true. would come yep. downstairs, and as a young child, Daddy puts you to work. Now, your dad's work ethics are phenomenal. Oh, yeah. He's a hard worker. You learned from the best, and sometimes did you want to scream oh, at the best? Yeah. I mean, yeah. did you find days that you're like, enough, I'm just a kid? Well, you know, um, I was always the representative of the Woodbridge Inn, and you know, when you're a kid, you kind of go into this rebellious age, just the last thing you wanted to do was be the representative of anything. You know? That's right. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it, and, uh, but having gone through that now, and, and you know, going away to college and coming back to Jasper, all of those people, and yourself included, know me, have known me my whole life, and mm -hmm. so now when we go into the Jasper Drugstore, Everybody in there knows me, and this, uh -huh. it's, it's kind of freaked my wife out a little bit when we move up here. She's like, oh, everybody knows you. But so that has nothing to do with being famous or whatever, uh -huh. or being on television. That's just because you're local, right. and you can't buy that. You know? So That's I think right. it's just an amazing thing about this area. Well, we all have worked on ETC3 North Georgia now today. And Lauren, you haven't been rooked into this, but the three of us do. And Bree, do you find if you go out into the public and you are kind and you are warm, don't you think people open up to us and we get better stories? And we have creative ideas that we wouldn't have thought of. Somebody brings us that idea mm -hmm. because we are warm and welcoming. And I learned going to Copper Basin this year. And some of the people that we are going to celebrate a birthday for today, 
I met through ETC3, I didn't know the Barkers, I'd watched them on TV, but then I started going to the Copper Basin and I met these wonderful people. And today we will be sharing a coconut cake that is, it's Scott Barker's favorite. So we're gonna have this for his <laughs> birthday. And y'all are taking the cake that Jen made. This is an award-winning cream cheese pound cake. Fantastic. And you love it. And Hans is sitting there eating on it. You're gonna cut more and more. And we decided we would take the simplest thing of all. Now, you see this spoon? <laughs> I've got a reputation for having a big mouth. That's a pretty big spoon. This is a Sherry Martin Blizzard. Everybody knows that the Dairy Queens around us can make it. So say there's one in Jasper, one in Ella J. There's one in Jasper, one in Ella J, and one in Blue Ridge. And Jasper and Ella J has mastered it. Blue Ridge is working on it. This is the ice cream, the chocolate you dip cones in, and wet nuts. And the key to this secret barely barely mix it up because we want chunks of chocolate so Lauren you get the hard job you are gonna dip a little bit of that okay. in there on top of the cake Hans is gonna okay. put a little bit of the or Bree's yeah, gonna put a little bit of, of the award-winning yeah, cake in there and y'all just do it in layers and and we say the Sherry Martin Blizzard is famous but it is also very very rich mm -hmm. so it only takes a little but it is so good yeah and then we're gonna put a little bit more cake and then a little bit more of the blizzard okay and I always say buy this small blizzard because, honey, if you can eat a big one of this, you are one heck of a man because <laughs> it is rich, rich, rich. Mm -hmm. But it is so good. And, Brie, what did I tell y'all? Ask your mother-in-law to make you a homemade pound cake and right. keep it in the freezer. Then when honey calls and says, I'm bringing home a bunch of ball coaches, make me a wonderful dessert, you run to the freezer, you get his mother's homemade cake, and you go by the Dairy Queen and you get a Sherry Martin Blizzard. You to go by the Dairy there you go. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Now, how simple is that? And Hans, that cake is fabulous. It is fantastic, it? yeah. Really good. I can see why it won awards. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it has a little bit of butter in it, I think. A little bit of cream cheese. Just a little. <laughs> that is where just the flavor is. Yeah. And we're going to put a little bit of Cool Whip on top of that. And you know, I became known as the Cool Whip Queen. Actually, Dave Garner wanted to know that I put Cool Whip on Puppy Chow. So, you know, <laughs> I do a lot of things with Cool Whip. It, it's fast, it's easy, and it's simple. And that's what it's all about. We've got to keep it fast, keep it simple, keep it easy. We're all working moms. Put a little bit more of the blizzard on there. And y'all, that blizzard is to die for. Yep, a little bit more. I've got one down here. And the wet nuts make it absolutely fabulous. You really want to go easy and get that new spray. Oh, oh man, wet. this is good. Woo! Mm-mm-mm. Uh, uh, uh. Now, Sherry, had you spent any time up in the Copper Basin prior to the ETC? Honey, I had never even been there. Uh, I mean, never. And it's so funny because now I feel like it's home. Yep. I feel like it's home. And I said, we go to church up there a lot of times. We visit with folks. We go out to dinner. We just, it is amazing. Yep. It is amazing. It's a great little, it almost has a European kind of feel to it. The little I love river it. running through it there. I love it. And you talk about warm and welcoming. There couldn't be a better place. That's true. Well, right now, we're going to welcome the Barker family in. And we're going to give Scott the first piece of this award-winning coconut cake. This cake was actually the first Heart of the Home we shot several years ago. This cake was the one. Now, Scott, I said I was going to give you some sugar for your birthday, but I just ate onions. <laughs> Come here, give me a hug. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Angie, what a wonderful family. What a wonderful family. Um, folks are going to get to enjoy your family's music today. I'm so excited about that. They did eight songs. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you. Come on, guys. Now this is the child I wish I had raised. <laughs> These boys are just good boys. I need to talk to her. And this one, is, well, this one is going off to college and I so dread that. But it's okay, it's close to home. It's we can, really we can be to your apartment in 40 minutes. We've timed it. <laughs> We've timed Aren't it. Aren't you glad to hear that? And Jonathan and Wesley, y'all will have to stay around and keep mom and dad happy because mom's gonna be a little detoxing over this. She's gonna have a hard time. <laughs> She's going to have a hard time. Now, Wesley, they brought you on a year and a half ago. You started playing the fiddle? Sure did. Great fiddle player. Great fiddle player. And, guys, I want you to sit back today. You're going to get to enjoy the Barkers. You will get to know them. One of the songs they will be doing in the next week or so, or maybe even on today's show, Angie wrote. It's called Go Down Moses. Uh, awesome, awesome song. Now, girls, what have you learned today? 
but you can still have it quick and easy and a good meal. And now we have something for our next get together too. It's gotta be. We're it's gonna, gonna, gonna be quick, quick and easy. Now, can we bring on Pickens and Gilmer sides? If you're on the Pickens side, come get behind me. If you're on the Gilmer side, come and right. get behind. <laughs> Look at Hans. I knew. I knew her right. would join me. I, I knew Hans would join me. Y'all, come on out. Come on. If you're Gilmer side, get behind Bree. Let's see who wins. Hans, I think we've got it kicked. Yeah. Yeah. We had the quick I recipes. We had the easy satisfied. recipes. We're going to hang on your I think today Pickens is going to win. I think Pickens. Wait. Wait. I, th I think we loaded the deck today. We did we cheat, did yeah, we we cheat, cheat on this yeah. a little bit? It's home court okay. advantage. It is home court advantage. <laughs> this is home court advantage. We are in Pickens County. We are so blessed to work here every day. We love meeting the people in the community. Mm -hmm. How many people every day stop and tell you, I voted for you on the Food Network, or I see you every day well, on BTC? More importantly, too, and, you know, with my cancer history, uh, I can't imagine being sick anywhere else. This whole community came behind me. And, that's uh, right. Uh, and right now, if we look, the whole community is behind that's right. you. Way to that's go. Right. Way to go. Once and again. three years, you have beaten yep. cancer three, so far. Three Everything is free. Yep. going great. Yep. Going great. So big hand for Han. And we will continue to raise awareness, to raise money, and to make people know that early diagnosis is yeah, it's the key. It's, it's the, the key. key. Yep. It's the key. Absolutely. Everybody knows my husband didn't go to the doctor. Right. We had a different outcome than you, but um, early diagnosis. Yep. So it's very important. And and eat healthy. And we laugh about all the desserts we make and yada yada. We do eat healthy. I love spinach. I love broccoli. Yep. You taught me a lot about cooking. You'll never teach me to eat Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. I'll keep trying. It is not going to happen. I just remember those days that Mama made me do it, and it was horrible. So, <laughs> Well, it has been a great, great day. Once again, thank you, Charlene, for opening your home to us. She opens her doors, and then all these people appear, and she's like, holy cow. But I think Pickens won today. What do you all think? Yeah. Yay, Pickens won right. today. In the, in the discussion. We'll and do so, it again. Since I'm the boss, <laughs> and right. you can be the backup <laughs> boss, <laughs> yeah. You be here, and we'll be here too. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling thee? Go. Moses in a burning bush, the fire of God came down. God said, Moses, take off your shoes, you stand on holy ground. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling me? Go down, Moses, set my people free. speaks to us today through the fire that burns within only the blood of jesus can save us from our sin oh thou children can't you hear god calling me go down children let jesus set you free